their way to the blue corner. Tristan is out. Continue here on UFC Fight Fast with a young man coming to us from LA, Tristan Izzell. He is 26 years old, making his debut tonight, fellas. So tough enough for those of you that aren't familiar, is a amateur organization that's been in Las Vegas for many, many years. Started out even in the kickboxing world all the way back in the 90s, believe it or not, and has been around ever since and evolving ever since. Now on UFC Fight Fast for the very first time tonight, and also amateur fighters. On the underdog, the professional fighters here on the main card. But it's all about being that springboard, right? Taking the fighters to the next level. This young man at 170 pounds, six foot one, making his debut tonight. Yeah, it's exciting. It's so great to see something up back and to see it on UFC Fight Pass. If you're not familiar with the organization, there have been some phenomenal battles over the years, and we've been uh, lucky to be a part of it for several years. It's great to be back tonight. Tonight you see Tristan uh, make his debut three and three as an amateur. Should know all three of his victories came in the opening round. So uh, first time in Tough Nuts Cage, but I'm expecting to try to bring that pressure early. And now making his way to the red corner. Ashton Charlton. Ashton Charlton is hailing from Spokane, Washington. Excited to have him in the cage tonight as well. Young man who is early on in his career. He is 1-0. and So a big opportunity in front of him as well. And he is, John, a massive favorite. Yeah, Mark. That six jitsu squad. I mean, obviously a fantastic camp up there. His debut, he won be a triangle choke in 67 seconds. So part of a fantastic camp. Uh, he showed great skills earlier. And as you said, according to Sportsbook here, the beautiful Circa Resort and Casino, a minus 500, meaning you have to lay down 500 bucks if you were hoping for a return of 100. And he is the biggest favorite on the entire car. So Harbison, who was in the last fight, minus 400. That ends up being a no contest. But here we are with Carlton, minus 500. Biggest favorite of the night about to step into the cage. Listen, the expectations are on him. If, you know, if you're on the underdog side of it with Tristan is on, at least you know, hey, man, I can go in there and fight free. Like you said, I, I, said, I don't have the expectations. This is the guy from the big camp. This is the guy with the champ in his corner. You know what I mean? All expectations are on him. Time for our official announcements after a look at the tail of the tick. 26 versus 22. Very close in weight. Reach not listed. Here we go with Justin Bernard and the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, the next bout of the evening is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. It is a tough enough catch weight bout at 171 pounds. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, making his tough enough debut tonight, fighting out of the movement, Los Angeles, California, Tristan! stands across the cage in the red corner with a professional record of one win, no loss. Fighting out of Sick Jitsu, Spokane, Washington, Ashton Charlton! The referee in charge of the action inside of the cage is Chris Tyone. Chris Tyone is our referee. We have got three five-minute rounds. Zell is wearing the black trunks. Carlson is wearing the white trunks. And again, Charlton is a huge favorite. Minus 500. A history of first-round finishes between them, so maybe we'll get some action right at the start. No, a nice little slap. That's a slap. That's a, that's a move. Like that. Just walk across the cage and slap your man in the face. Way to show him fight. I like it. Whoa, he on the bottom of that counter right. Oh, nice little leg kick there. 
expected them to engage early. That's the case. Yep, both throwing punches, both throwing kicks. Neither appear to be too worried about the take that chance. Getting back to the foul. Oh, look at me. Boy, that caught him. I thought I stayed upright on that. Just enjoying watching the move. Kicked his body there as well. Been in the takedown here, hopping on his right leg. Gazelle trying to kick the other one out. Charles just looks so calm. Yeah, he really is. Defending up against the fence right now, trying to create a little space. Watch your fingers in face. So, clinch it tight, trying to keep things in tight. Trying to get off the fence here. Does work a lot. Great work. Reverse the Immediately reversed again. Oh! Charles in the mouth here. He's uh, spinning. Oh, right arm on there. He's going to hold on to it as they stand up and let it go. He's kind of threatening the neck there for a moment. Knee inside. And me hurt as hell. Yeah, real bad. He tried. He's trying to hide it, but he doubled over there for a second. Yeah, he's still feeling it. Oh, right hand right over the top. Oh, oh, that's that's good. Good. That's that's good. Good. And that is the end, ladies and gentlemen. Ashton Charles, a first round finish at Tough Enough here in Las Vegas. Scales and caves, and rightfully so. Pay attention to Ashton Charlie, maybe six Jitsu's next star. Man, he rolls in as a, a five to one favorite, and you're like, I don't know, his opponent's really game. That seems like a lot. You know, even though Zell's making his debut, we've seen him tough enough as an amateur, tough fighter. And man, he showed it. That, that was impressive. Incredibly impressive and great stoppage there from Chris Tyone. Uh, we, we saw Zell show some like, could have gone on, but thank goodness they stopped it. I mean, flashy too, right? These spinning back fists, this knee to the body, like just absolutely wrecked his opponent. The big takedowns, everything about what he did was exciting, was flashy, and he never put himself in any real danger. That right hand, I mean, his opponent in the face. I mean, that was just pinpoint accurate, you know, right on the jaw. Big giant right, finishes that fight, and he is happy tonight. That's celebrating with the champ, Juliana Pena. I mean, not a bad mentor to have in there. Great performance. Tristan was tall, but as you said, no problem that stopped. You got dropped. He, he was not intelligently defending himself when Chris Tyrone rushed in. And the official announcement coming up here in seconds from now. Justin Bernard is standing by. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 58 seconds into round number one, referee Chris Tyone calls a stop to the fight for your winner by TKO Esther. He rolls in as a 5-1 to one favorite, and he showed up tonight. What a great performance. Standing here with the winner, Aston Charlton. What a back and forth it started with, but then you dropped him. Was that the game plan coming in against a very talented Tristan? Is that? All I know is I'm here to kill one thing, one thing only. This is my cage. Wait, remember the name, Aston Charlton, because I'm going to be here. You have to see where you at, man. Tell everybody how great does it feel to win out here in Las Vegas Circa, the first fight for Tough Enough on Fight Pass, and you got the champ, Juliana Pena, in your corner. It feels great, man. Hey, if there is bonuses, I definitely deserve one, right? Yeah, let's go! I'm sure Julie will uh, attempt Spence to get something going. Ladies and gentlemen, you're winning tonight, Ashton Charlton! Ashton Charles, and like you said, John, remember that name, an absolute stud. Got the champ in his corner, could he be a future champ? Certainly looked like it tonight. Yeah, 
I mean, I just I liked everything I saw out of that kid tonight. I want to see more of him. Saw a little bit of everything, as you said. Flashy, you know, he had the flying knee, he had the spinning back fist, uh, the big shots up on the top. I mean, just showed the whole package. You know, when you can show that much in a relatively short period of time, and uh, look, no shortage of confidence on the man. And again, it just goes to talk about when you have these high-level training partners, when you have, I mean, when you have a UFC champion in your gym, that just adds something. You know, I don't know how much he rolls directly with Juliana Pena, you know, but it's not that. It's about the mentality, it's about the mentorship, it's all those other things that...